most everyone assumes that you get a sonar head that has the biggest intake port, the biggest intake valve, floats the most amount of peak airflow, and that's the magic answer to making more power. But in back-to-back -back testing, you know, we have taken smaller heads with smaller ports, smaller intake valves, flowing less air, and actually made more power everywhere. Now, when somebody looks at sonar head airflow, they generally only look at one number, and that's this number right here. These numbers right here at 400 lift at three, four, and five actually determines to a much greater extent what's gonna make this cylinder head make power. The excessive flow at low lift acts just like excessive camshaft overlap. When the piston is coming up in the bore and the intake valve is closing, you actually push a lot of your airflow charge in the cylinder back into the intake port, which then hurts your low end torque. When you look at all the available aftermarket cylinder heads out there, uh, when you get them really, really good, they'll all flow about the same amount of air at 400 lift. The coefficient of discharge deals with airflow uh, and CFM per square inch of valve area. We've taken the 300 CFM that we had at 400 thousandths lift and we've divided that by the valve curtain area of each, of each valve. And you can see that the smaller valve has 114 CFM per square inch, as opposed to the bigger valve heads that are 108 and 106. And people think that, you know, this is, it's all about velocity, and velocity is certainly part of it, but more importantly, it's about efficiency. Efficiency is what makes more power.